This video is to introduce the plug-in version of the control application for Media Expression USB pedal interfaces. Right now, this pedal is set up to function as a sustain. When I load contact or some other keyboard synth, I typically use this pedal to sustain the sound. So I like to always have it set up this way. But what if in this project I want to do something different? For example, what if I want to use this pedal to audition presets in a virtual instrument such as strobe? Well, I could use the regular control application to change the function of the pedal, but later when I'm working on a different project, I'll have to open the control application again and change it back. What I really need is a way to automatically change the function of the pedal when this project is loaded and change it back again when the project is closed. This is precisely what the plug-in version of the control application was designed to do. Let's head over to the computer to see how to set it up. The plug-in version of the control application is a VST or AU plugin, and you can insert it in your project just like you do any other audio effect. When you first insert the plugin, all inputs for every media expression device you have connected to your computer are inactive. By activating an input, you're telling the plugin to remember whatever changes you make and to upload them to the device when the project loads. In this case, we want to audition presets in strobe, so we're going to use a special mode called Program Change increase and decrease. This mode allows you to use a single pedal to both increase and decrease a program change value. By pressing the pedal quickly, you can move up in values. By doing a long press, you can move down perfect for auditioning presets. Now I'm going to save this project. When I close the project and open a version without the plugin, my pedal is functioning as a sustain again. And then if I load the project with the plugin, We're right back where we left off, ready to preview the next preset. 